For the first time ever on FTD Facts, we're journeying into the country of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is located on the Horn of Africa in the east, and this country is considered by many as the region from which modern humans first set out to inhabit places like the Middle East and beyond. There's so much to see and explore inside of this beautiful country. So let's begin by taking a look at some surprising and interesting facts about Ethiopia. Hey, welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and this is the channel where we explore the different countries, cultures, and people from all around the world. Now, if this is your first time here to FTD Facts, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you don't miss any episodes like this. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos about African countries. All right, so the first thing I want to take a look at is the origin of the name. So the name Ethiopia comes from the Greek words Itho and Ops, which together mean burnt face. This was how the ancient Greeks Greeks refer to the dark-skinned people of Eastern Africa. Ethiopia, according to several sources, was first founded in 980 BC, and Ethiopia is Africa's oldest independent country. Ethiopia is the second most populous country in Africa, with a total population of over 110 million people. Ethiopia is the only African country never to have been brought under colonial control. I mean, the Italians tried to colonize Ethiopia, most notably back in 19. And they succeeded to militarily occupy the country for six years. But Ethiopian forces were fighting the whole time and the entire country was never fully brought under control. So some Ethiopians would jokingly respond and tell you, we waited until they built us railways and nice buildings and then kicked them out. Several thousand years ago, the Ethiopians, they adopted the belief that one more is always better and they have been counting 13 months to their year ever since that time. Ethiopians, they also measure the days differently. They believe it's less confusing if the clock starts when the day does. So sunrise is one o'clock and sunset is 12 o'clock, then the 12 hour night clock sets in starting over from one o'clock again. So this can be totally confusing for travelers, but I mean, it kind of makes sense. The country of Ethiopia is a country full of vibrant and colorful festivals, the biggest of them all, being Timcot. And this is an annual festival that honors the baptism of Jesus Christ in the Jordan River. Today, the priests remove the replicas of the Ark of the Covenant from each church and march to the nearest body of water. And that's where a communal baptism happens. Talking more about their spiritual beliefs, Ethiopians believe that the Ark of the Covenant, the ancient relic that is said to hold the Ten Commandments, is housed in a church in Ethiopia. Now, there's only one special special chosen person that has access to the Ark, and even he's not allowed to look at it to confirm if it's actually there. There's also been several fascinating archaeological discoveries in Ethiopia, more specifically the Afar region, and these discoveries suggest that Ethiopia is the country where human life started. A hominid skeleton, Lucy, was dated by scientists to be 3.2 million years old. Then, Ardi, also from the Afar region of Ethiopia, was discovered and was dated to be 4.4 million years old. There's a city in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, and that's the home of the African Union headquarters of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, and at an altitude of 2,450 meters, it's the world's fourth highest capital city. The name of the city translates to New Flower in the Amharic language. Now, let's talk about the food. So Ethiopian cooking is some of the tastiest and healthiest food out there. I love Ethiopian food, especially anything to do with injera, you know, that flat bread that you can like dip into different foods. It's, this is so good. Unlike many other African countries, this place is a haven for vegetarians. This is because a lot of Ethiopians follow a particular belief of Orthodox Christianity that prohibits the eating of any type of animal products on Wednesdays and Fridays. So that was your brief overview of the beautiful country of Ethiopia. We took a look at so many different things and like we barely even scratched the surface of what this country has to offer. So be sure to leave your thoughts and comments down below. What are your thoughts about Ethiopia? Have you ever been there? And also let me know which nations do you want us to feature in another episode next. You can find me on social media to keep up to date with what I'm doing outside of just producing these FTD Facts episodes. Either way, I'll see you all real soon. Okay, later.
Hey everyone, so if you enjoyed this episode, definitely check out our playlist where you can find more countries from the African continent. We post videos daily here on FTD Facts, so don't forget to come back every single day for more educational episodes.